We are following that breaking news this morning out of St. Mary's County. School officials there have confirmed that there was a shooting this morning at Great Mills High School. A statement from St. Mary's School says the school is right now on lockdown and that the event is contained. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, he is on his way to the scene. He joins us now on the phone with what we know so far. Mike? Denise, we know there were injuries. We don't know the extent of the injuries, and we cannot confirm whether anyone was killed in this. Uh, the governor put out a statement saying he is closely monitoring the situation at Great Mills High School and is uh, in touch with local law enforcement and ready to provide support, and that his prayers are with uh, students, school personnel, and first responders. We heard a similar message from Steny Hoyer, the minority whip. This school is in his district. Roads are still closed in the area of that school as police respond. But as you said, authorities in St. Mary's County have said this is contained at this time. And uh, there is a reunification site set up at Leonardtown High School. That's where people are asked to go to reunite with their children. Um, we've seen uh, a number of, uh, uh, of, of, of reports from parents saying they got text alerts uh, that there was a shooting at the school. Very concerned, obviously. Again, we're working to confirm the number and extent of the injuries there as we head to the scene, Denise. All right, thank you very much. And again, Mike Helgren and crew are on their way to the scene. As soon as he gets there and gets more information, we will give it to you. And to reiterate what he just told you, Governor Hogan has released a statement on Twitter about the shooting saying, and I quote, we are closely monitoring the situation as we all are at Great Mills High School. Governor goes on to say Maryland State Police are in touch with local law enforcement, ready to provide support. And our prayers are with students, school personnel, and first responders, end quote. Again, ATF officials all also on the way from Baltimore to St. Mary's County. We continue to follow this breaking news. We will have much more coming up at noon and on WJZ.com.